Yeah, yeah, it's going to be a tough challenge for us. Um, we're travelling down on the Friday, on the train, and stopping over in a hotel and that. And um, it's a different challenge for us. It's um, obviously the travelling's got to be a, taken to a factor, and we know we've got to be on our game to beat Harlequins down there. It's going more or less virtually to plan. Um, you know, we've, uh, we've had a really successful year so far in terms of you know we're we're sitting comfortably uh, second in the league at the minute. Um, and yeah, we're, I think we're on target for where we set our goals at the beginning of the year. Yeah, I think we were all a bit disappointed the way we obviously we won the Towns Cup last year, which was great for us. But obviously the way we finished the Super League in the playoffs, we sort of like just fell out of them really. So we were obviously often to kick on and do well in them. If we start thinking about you know Wembley's and and uh, Old Trafford, the grand final, then you know it, it, there's a good chance that we're not going to get there. So we just got to keep winning the games that are coming up uh, at the weekends and uh, you know putting in the performances and if we keep improving on each performance then there's a good chance that we'll reach our goals but uh, to think too far ahead would, uh, would be a massive mistake on our part and there's enough experience in the team to know, to know that as well. On a personal level, you know, you, you've really come into this uh, Warrington Wolves side this year, and you know you, you've stepped up to what is a, a fairly demanding role, and you, you've taken it, taken it by the horns, really, haven't you? Yeah, well, obviously, like with Hodjo, it's helped a lot because Hodjo's a lot of calming influence around us, and it's another general on the field as well, and it uh, helps us massively. And obviously, Lee's playing really well, and so is Mono, so it makes my job pretty easy, really. As, as long as I've been at Warrington, uh, you know, we've always looked to, to entertain and play with the ball, but. I think the difference at the minute is that uh, we're defending so well and uh, you know, we're confident in, in our defence, it breeds a bit of extra confidence in attack, so uh, we're willing to, to play a bit with the ball and maybe sometimes throw the odd risky pass, the, the odd 50-50 ball and uh, you know, if it doesn't come off we're confident that we can defend that set, so I think that's, that's probably one of the reasons that you know, we're, we're trying to be so flamboyant with the ball is that our defence, uh, we've got a lot of confidence in it.